if you go to bestbellfantasy.com and you look at my mock draft, I have Bijan Robinson going 19 to the, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And look, we might get news that there's no way that Bijan gets out of the top 15, blah, 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 fine. But for right now, like we should be worried about Rashad White and not because Chase Edmonds is there. That's not the reason. It's that they could bring in a Bijan or a, a Roshan Johnson in the third round. That would be really concerning for me. I'm looking at a couple other running backs that I project. Zach Charbonnet would be disastrous for Rashad White. Even Tajay Spears could be a real problem for Rashad White. It's just that Rashad White was extremely inefficient last year. He benefited from a tremendous amount of volume, pass volume and rush volume, splitting with Leonard Fournette. And we know that the offense is going to be markedly worse this year under either Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask. They're not going to be in the scoring positions that they they're, they were in last year. The offense is not going to be as confident under those quarterbacks instead of Tom versus Tom Brady. So uh, this is Rashad White is the, the perfect sell candidate right now. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. And interestingly, Tampa last year was one of the one of the teams where their fantasy players had some of the lowest reliance on touchdowns for their points of any other team, just because of the fact that for whatever reason, the Bucks were very good at moving down into scoring position and either then either getting the field goal or getting the turnover. They just were they were terrible at scoring touchdowns for most of last year. And so that didn't do Rashad White any favors. Also, Tom Brady was checking down like a demon to, to the he running He check backs. down king. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. You know, it, 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 and I, don't, I would not expect that to continue to happen. Tampa Bay's running game was terrible. Fournette was terrible last year. Rashad White was terrible. You can argue, was it because running backs were terrible or was it their, their run blocking was pretty terrible too. They had a lot of problems on the offensive line. So you, you can make excuses for White, and I know people who are out there and they're, they're pumping up Rashad White. Theo, my, one of my podcast <laughs> I was podcast about to say, partners. should we shout out some names? Theo Greminger, <laughs> I gotta, friend of the podcast, I gotta, Theo, Theo Greminger. <laughs> I got I to gotta throw three O's under the bus. No, he, he, he and I gently disagree on White. He's, uh, he's much higher on him. I can see the path that Theo's talking about. I'm, I'm willing to say that's a non-zero chance, but I, my bet, if I'm putting down a bet, is going on the other side. And because of the reasons you mentioned, I think they've got to add to that running back room. And a, a Charbonnet, a Roshan Johnson, Izzy Abaconda, even Kendra Miller would be any Give of those guys. Give me all the Abanacanda, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or my favorite. And, Dan, you get privileged with this. All right. Dwayne McBride, no matter oh, what, go. baby. Dwayne <laughs> yes. McBride. You no have been on the McBride bus, haven't you? All oh, all off season. <laughs> all off season. Let it be known, Dwayne McBride. He was just yeah. Anyways, so if Dwayne McBride comes, that that would change the game for Rashad White because remember Rashad White was profiled as a pass catching back out of Arizona State, and he was not known for his efficiency on the ground. Really relied on on fantasy points through the air. So Rashad White is, is one of those players that he's been hyping himself up this off season. I don't hate it. Good for you, Rashad White, yeah. like real, real good for you. Take it, fight for the job, nothing against you. But I think that this is uh, where he was drafted was an indication of teams values of him. And he was what, like the 32nd pick in the third round, something like that. 34th pick in the second round. That's, <clears throat> that's not a vote of confidence that he can handle a three down roll comfortably. So yeah, it's there. There are lots of reasons to be concerned, Dan, anything, any last thoughts on Rashad white? No, but just to put a bow on it, that's a, that's exactly the type of player you want to trade off for, for a win now team to get a piece like, like you got to Andre Hopkins, because you are, you are trading uncertainty for certainty. You may be, Rashad White's best possible outcome could make you regret that trade, but almost any other outcome probably isn't, which means there's a 90% chance that you're going to be happy with if DeAndre Hopkins does what he did last year and continues to do that this year, you're going to be real happy with that trade. Or even if he drops down a little bit, like if right. Hopkins only gets a 
five percent target share instead of twenty nine percent target share. Like we're we're talking about a player who's going to be top eighteen automatically. Like, mm-hmm. how can we guarantee that Rashad White's going to be top eighteen that on a bad offense? Right. That he would he would have to have the backfield by himself, and that's a bet that I think both you and I are not making. Correct. 